Hello guys. I want to record a video because members are asking me about uploading images and the difference between thumbnails and full image and how to how to select the different different uh, options there. So anyway, we'll we'll all walk you through here. First thing you got to do is you you have to type something. Uh, and we'll type this as a test. You have to type something before you can upload a file. And once you're done typing whatever message you want, you click upload a file. And then you go wherever on your desktop you have to, the image safe that you want to upload. And I'll just select this one here and then click open. And it'll start uploading here. And while it's uploading, I just want to let you know about the security warning that comes up here. That's basically telling you that your geolocations, the GPS that are sometimes saved in images, are being removed. So there's, there's no images on the Canadian Fishing Forum where someone can steal geo geolocations from. All that active data has been, been removed. So that's a nice add of security for our, for our forum. And once you just get rid of this, uh, once uh, it's it's uploaded, you're presented with two options here. It's a thumbnail and a full screen or full image. For one or two files, like one or two pictures or even three or four, I like to select the full image. Uh, if you select a full image, it saves a, a step for the viewer to you doesn't need to click to see the file basically. You can see the image without clicking on the actual file and see what it's all about. Anyway, once it's loaded, you click post reply and your picture is now on the forum for everyone to see. And I just want to walk you through one more little thing here. And that is thumbnails. So We'll do the same thing. This is a test. We remember, we need to type something to upload an image. You click upload a file, and we'll select this image this time. And while it's uploading, we'll just sit back and wait. And as you'll see, it it it's you know it, it's fairly simple. Once you do it once or twice, it second nature. It's not hard to it. As Ricky would say, it's not rocket appliances to to figure this out. And worst case scenario, hey, try again. You try through de denial and error. Uh, once it uh, hits 90, now oh, you can sit and wait till it appears. Your two options should pop up again. Got a slow connection today here. There you go. Now, let's select the thumbnail option this time. And let's upload another file. Uh, we'll do this one again. The thing with, with uploading a bunch of files, you don't need to select every time a thumbnail or full image. If you're, uh, if you're uploading more than one file, you can just wait till you have them all uploaded and then up here there's this option insert every image as and you can select as you want them displayed you either as a thumbnail or a full image and as soon as this one's loaded that's what we'll do we'll select them all as a as a thumbnail so this one's loaded now we'll just select all as thumbnail and because we had one selected already it decides to now we got two so once we're done here uh, we'll up. Uh, no, we want to post it, not upload another one. That takes too long here. So we could go on this now. If you click on an image, because you have to click on it, because it's small, especially on a, you know, on a small device. We click on this, and it shows up on in a light box, and we can view them like this. And that, that's kind of cool, doing them that way. And when you're done, you just click them like that but uh, whereas with a larger image you don't exactly have to you just basically scroll down so anyway I figured I'd record this video to show you this and hopefully that helps out a few of you 
We'll see you in another video.